G'day everyone, welcome back to the shop. I know it's been a long time since you've seen me on the Aaron Engineering channel. Um, today I did a little video, this has taken me two Saturdays to do. Um, to be brutally honest, I've just um, lost a, a bit of momentum uh, coming out in my shop. I've just got other things in life and uh, YouTube is just not a priority at the moment. Um, and I think a lot of people are feeling it, a lot of my other friends and creators. But anyway, big shout out to all of you, so everyone on my sticker board and uh, all my close personal friends. Now today what I'm making, um, my buddy down the road, Russell, and I've done a few jobs for him before on this channel. Uh, he's got a, a brake lathe. I don't know the brand of it. I should have known. I should have taken a photo. And uh, he wants me to make up a tapered um, spacer mandrel that slides over the shaft. Now, uh, here's a trigger warning for you. Today's video was shot in inches. I know, it's hard to believe. I hate bloody Imperial, but anyway, I have to suck it up. Now, the spacer, um, Russell just sent me a, a text message there one day and had a rough sketch. He goes, mate, I need one of these things made up. Um, you know, three and a half inches, two and a half inches, a total distance of, of um, two inches across here. Now, this was the second iteration. The first one we did, um, I drew it up in CAD and 3D printed it as proof of concept. And I'm glad I did because it would have wasted a lot of material had I not because he was not happy with the first one. So this is the second iteration. And uh, we did it up in CAD here in a quick little drawing. And uh, you wouldn't believe it. That, now, I did this over a week ago, the, the CAD model, probably two weeks ago. And then I started on it last week. Then I come into the shop today, didn't even look at the drawing. And for some reason, in my Homer Simpson brain, I thought... Oh yeah, yep, that one was three inches, that was two inches. Roughed out the material, then realised, shit, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. It was supposed to be three and a half inches and two and a half inches. So luckily the material I had, I just moved the tapered piece up a bit and I got it. Now the material was a bit of um, off cut my buddy Peter Michelini gave to me. Big chunk of steel, I don't know what it is, but it was as hard as all buggery to machine. Um, Pete cut it off something, I don't know what it is, weighed a, weighed a fair bit of weight in it, and uh, that's what I made. So my tapered mandrel. Now, it's got a, as I was saying before, so three and a half inches here, two and a half inches here, got a bore of one inch, okay, and then um, I think overall distance here is two inches, all right? Now, I machined all this on the Colchester. I, I actually had to put this chunk of block on the mill first. Now, I didn't shoot it on this camera. I did take some footage on the iPhone and I uploaded that footage to Instagram, all right? <laughs> Now, after um, machining all this off and uh, getting it out, now I put it in the surface grinder and surface ground this uh, face here. Um, just so he's got a nice, he's got two flat surfaces to work with. Now, I cheated today, I didn't have a sign bar. And uh, Humpty Dumpty Engineering here, I put a bit of super glue on that, glued it up to the model, up to the face of the steel, and I clocked in the taper with my dial gauge. And now you've got to be careful, you know, sweeping a 3D printed model, but I got it within 50 micron, okay, so I'm quite happy with that. And uh, away I went, and you can see the taper here, it looks, uh, you know, rather well. Okay, so hopefully my buddy Russell's happy with that. Um, I'm going to jump onto the machine now and, and work our way through it.
Now I'm being a bit cheeky here. I don't have a sign bar at home. However, I 3D printed this as proof as concept to show my mate Russell. So what I've done, I've just super glued it to the face there and I'm just sweeping along there. I have put a feeler gauge on top of that, but I took it off, it was too hard to film. Um, you can see now, you've got to understand this is a 3D printed part. And as I sweep that, I'm within, uh, what's that, 50 micron. So look, I'm not too worried about that. So I brought you over to the job. Now one of the monumental uh, cock-ups of the day, um, I didn't read the plan, did I? <laughs> I uh, did all the modelling, I did all the drawing. Uh, I did it like last weekend, came into the workshop. Oh yeah, that's right, that, that was two inches, that was three inches. So then I get to the plan, and it's actually three and a half inches on the big side and two and a half inches on the small side. So, yep, monumental F-U-C-K up today. And that's what I need to get. So I'll move this part from here up to about here. So I, sh I should be able to save it. I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident that I'll get it. Right, uh, let's get into it. Now I'm just taking 10 foul passes now as I get a bit closer. this out and then I'll feed the opposite way to get a clean up pass.
that's it for today. I really appreciate you hanging around to the end of the video. Um, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a comment. Just say good day. How are you going? I'd, I'd love to hear from you. See what you've all been up to. It's a bit, bit crazy down here in Melbourne, Australia. It's, the weather's been absolute rubbish and uh, quite depressing, to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, on that note, um, any plumbers watching, rule of thumb, don't bite your fingernails. See you on the next video. Cheers.